Oh my goodness. Buddy, are you in the comments? Uh, <laughs> the way he yelled that in my ear is just hysterical. Buddy, welcome. Everybody who's watching this, welcome. My name is Matt Bailey. I'm the East Coast reporter for the Music Universe. I go to a bunch of concerts throughout the year. Welcome to my Garth layer. <laughs> this is really cool. Every single thing here has special meaning to me. Now, I haven't even opened it yet. I've made some cuts so that this wouldn't be terrible. I made some cuts so that this wouldn't be terrible, but you're still probably going to see me struggle to open it. Oh, nope, it's opening pretty well. i got to get the box cutter out here. I'm really excited. This is his legacy. This is a chance for us fans to come together and celebrate that legacy. Excuse me while I fight with the tape. And one side's done. And the other side is done. All right, here we go. Let me show you what it looks like in there. Two of them have foam, one of them doesn't. It's probably so they don't rub together. This is a really heavy box, guys. Like, I had it on a tray table early, earlier, and it was bowing the table really bad. So this is really heavy. I'm going to get that middle one. Uh, apparently, they are 17 pounds as a package, and this is the one that doesn't have any foam on it. And I am <laughs> that. That, that is cool. Now this includes no fences, the chase, in pieces, fresh, fresh horses and triple live. Oh, we have this little thing. Let's see what it says. Vinyl is the cool gift everyone is collecting this holiday season. It's November. For the fans that want to hear how the music was originally recorded, the original analog recordings are the way to go. For the fans that want to hear the cleaner, brighter version of Garth music, Garth music is capitalized, the digitally remixed, remastered recordings are the way to go, or get the limited edition version of the boxed set and get it all. I think that's what this is, buddy. This is the limited edition of the, of the box set. Is that correct? Yeah, the seven, well, that's the, the special edition is the holographic, and this is the holographic, yes, it is. So, it's seven vinyl albums with seven corresponding CDs, so even if you don't have the vinyl, uh, a vinyl player, you could still collect the albums, you could still collect the albums and then have the music as well. So we'll cut into these packages in just a minute. Uh, I want to do so carefully so as not to ruin the package. Uh, and we will get the box down here and I'll start using the box as a trash can. So I think the way to do this, and I'm cutting into the original analog first. It's like Christmas has come today. I'm, re I'm really excited. And for those of you watching on YouTube, and for those of you watching on Facebook, YouTube videos coming later. For those of you watching on Facebook, please let Buddy know if it's cleared up. This is really exciting. Ah, darn. I'm so sorry, guys. It's coming through clear on mine. Uh, but maybe that's because I'm the point of origin. So hopefully, 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 when this saves, maybe it'll clear up. Original analog. Let's take a look. Buddy, which album are you most excited to see? He says triple live. I'm just going to pull it out like this because I don't know which one's the CDs, which one's this. So we're looking at the original analog first. So here we have No Fences. I don't know, should I take the records out of the sleeve? They're in here. I'll do one for each. I won't go through every single one and take them out because I don't want to damage them. But I'll do one in each pack, so I'll take out three. That's what the No Fences record looks like. And it keeps to the color scheme. I just, I have a bad track record with handling vinyl, so I don't want to handle it unless I'm going to listen to it. So, but that's what that is out of the box. 
track listing on the back, really clean. Buddy, you are in your office with like a million different albums. Is this, does this correspond exactly to the No Fences case? Or is this different? Is this a different back design? Okay. We will find out when we can. So this is the chase. This is in pieces. I, I can't wait to get to Triple Live and see what that is. This is fresh horses. Oh, I love that back design. If you could see that with the big circle G, that's really cool, guys. I want to tell you, this is not a press copy. We did not uh, reach out to his team for press. What we did is we ordered it just like everybody else in the uh, back when it, the spring or summer when he had it. And we decided, or February. Wow, was it really February? Wow. We ordered this back in the, in February, just like everybody else at that great introductory price. We're not affiliated with Talk Shop Live, although I will say Brian, who runs it, who is also hashtag, is one of the nicest guys. I had We all had issues, and they worked really hard to take care of it. This is the CD. This is the CD. There we are, and then Triple Live on the back, and then the four CDs. That is really cool. Ooh, and look at this album cover. Now this, this is big. Triple live, triple vinyl. Entertainer, six time, and if you open it out, it says six time CMA Entertainer of the Year. That is freaking cool. And then, Are there other editions? Apparently there are six covers, which I did not know. Buddy, can you talk about that in the comments, please? Please post about it. It's it. Now, let's do this one, get this one done. This is Remix Remastered, and we have Ooh, the limited edition, ooh. I'm unboxing this one backwards so that you guys can see what the back of these look like. This is really fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Set that over there take this off. I'll take this time to tell you what my number was. And where do I find the number? Aha! My number is right here. My number is 031017, the date I interviewed Garth. And buddy, I think yours is the date you interviewed him as well. Or no, is it your daughter's birthday? Which one? <laughs> It's, it's his daughter's birthday. So here we go. I've taken this out because I had it upside down. I've taken it out backwards. The historic seven diamond. Oh, seven diamonds. Okay. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. The historic seven diamond celebration. Well, yeah, I would assume everybody has three of these six covers. I will turn it around very elegantly. And then, of course, there's three vinyl pieces in here, which, honestly, if I were reviewing this, I would say is a waste of vinyl, considering there's only however many songs uh, in each. My only beef with Triple Live is that it's not a triple album I, it has about as many tracks as Double Live's re-release, but they're still using three, three vinyl, and that kind of makes this a little bit of a clunker. So I say it 
because just be careful when you get this because it feels like this package, which I actually think is the most beautiful, the ones that they're doing for Triple Live, I, also seem like they are the easiest to break. So just be careful. Again, we have the disc plate, the remixed, remastered disc plate, and then all of the vinyl pieces. What's your favorite Garth cover? Tell me in the comments This is, uh, of these uh, four that we have here. And also, Buddy shared the link to Garth's website, the announcement on the, of the Legacy Collection. And before we get to the last box, I want to read you this little note that is here in this piece of paper that I know nobody's going to keep. Uh, it says, you guys have been asking for vinyl for some time, and as promised, here's vinyl like never before. I hope you enjoy the different collector's packages we did for the Triple Live album. It was amazing to look at all of the milestones we have hit together. As far as the cover, there is a radio guy who always tells me, you'll be the first person to play on the moon. A big thank you to our friends at NASA who were a dream to work with on this project. And everyone look closely at the reflection in the mask. If we do play the moon, it will be you guys that get us there. And what is in the moon? Oh, the fans. The fans are in the moon. It's not a picture of Garth. It's the fans. Now let's head over to this holographic package. Now the last one. Holographics in space. I don't know. I'm just being stupid. Thank you guys for participating and having fun with me here. Again, we'll have a cleaner edited version of this on YouTube in maybe a week or two uh, around the time that we drop the podcast. Maybe a little longer because I leave for a vacation next week, but I wanted to do it as a backup just in case the internet did crap out. The holographs. Ooh, boop, there we go. There's that. Okay. <gasps> okay, okay. I know for a fact I am on this album cover because in the Yankee Stadium album cover, he's doing We Shall Be Free. And he only did We Shall Be Free on the second night as a request because it was rain night. So I am in that ring having fun. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm on a Garth Brooks album cover. That is, that, that is really, really cool. I'm ignoring you, buddy. I don't care. <laughs> Here's the CDs. Now, buddy, is this music in this in this one, in this holographic limited edition, is it different than the CDs on the digital remaster, uh, the second one that we opened? He doesn't know. OK. But the vinyl is different. Let's look at Yankee Stadium. You know what? Just maybe. I'm going to perhaps go quiet on you for a minute because I'm going to try to find myself in the picture. I can't tell. He wore the same shirt both nights because it was a TV special. Yeah. So I'm just trying to find out. There's lots of behind the scenes photos. This is freaking, okay, this is my favorite. This is, I can't believe I got Yankee Stadium. There we go, live at Yankee Stadium. Well worth the money uh, back when it was an early purchase and well worth the money if you're still looking at it at whatever it's gonna retail for. And it is at retail. It dropped at retail the same day we got our deliveries. So that was yesterday.
And I just love that the one you immediately see if you're just looking at it is Yankee and the cover where I know I'm in the eighth row. That's just awesome. Is this just a poster? Oh, that's cool. Legacy. That is really cool. That is really cool. You know, and you know, you want to know something else that's really cool? I found my Newark poster that I had bought, and it turns out Jimmy Mattingly had signed it. I had met Jimmy, and I thought he had only signed a little stupid thing that I had given him, but he signed my paper. And then this is what the back of the holographic package looks like. A little bit of, a little piece of trash that made it in. All right. That is the Legacy Collection. I know I said we'd be going in, in depth, and I hope that was in depth enough, that the, the Remixed Remastered is also in the holographic package, but the vinyls themselves are, are a little bit different. That's right, buddy, the vinyls are different in the limited series. Okay, the vinyls are a different cut. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna risk it because I'm gonna end this soon anyway, and I'm gonna take a vinyl out. I'm not gonna mess with the Yankee package. Maybe I'll take Fresh Horses out, which is the, the one up here, and just see if it feels different. Feels thicker, it certainly feels thicker. Oh yeah, ooh buddy, that is like twice the thickness of the other records. That's really cool. We will see you on YouTube and for the podcast. Visit themusicuniverse.com to keep up with all the latest music news. And also make sure to listen to our Music Universe podcast, which you can now find in iTunes. We have three episodes up there. We have an interview with Steve Lukather from Toto. We have four. What's the fourth? Ah, yes, four. I, I forgot we... That was a long day, and I forgot we got did that one. We have four up there. Steve Lukather helped... Help us kick it off. He's the uh, sole original continued touring member with the group. Other people have come and gone. He's always toured with Toto. Uh, and of course, he's just a shredder and has done like every session record ever. Then we talked about uh, my day following John Party around New York City. And it was also the Chris Gaines anniversary, which is part of his legacy, but it's not here. And then we talked, and then we did another one on something called Gurming. You have to go listen to that episode to find out what Gurming is. And then this fourth one, we went over our favorite and least favorite live albums. And again, I reiterated that issue uh, that I have about uh, the Triple Live, which is it could be condensed. And if you're hearing that clickety-clacking, that's the heater. Uh, and this package, these album covers are beautiful, but I was here and I was like intimidated to open it thinking I was gonna rip them. So just when you get this, be very, very careful because it is three vinyl records corresponding with the three CDs. So other than that, this package is awesome. I recommend it at any price for the true Garth collector. Uh, again, we're not sponsored by Garth. Talk Shop Live did not send us a promo copy. We just bought it and decided that this deserved a deep dive with a little bit of a visual, and I went all out uh, with the stuff back there. So for The Music Universe, I'm Matt Bailey signing off, and we will see you on themusicuniverse.com. I'm going to come around and end the live stream. Thank you so much for watching. I'm trapped in by my own garbage. <laughs>